In order to save any place marks, pictures, or anything inside of Google Earth, the first thing you have to do is you have to you need to make a folder in which to put those things. So right now, as you can see right over here, I have five different places with different information in them, and I want to save these so I can take them off of my temporary file, take them out of Google Earth, and save this file much as I would a Word document or something like that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new folder for that. Right clicking on temporary places, well my, my first option there is add, and I can add a folder. So I'm going to go ahead and add a folder, and for our purposes right now, I'm just going to name this Project 1. If I want to put a description in, I can that's fine. Now, now that I have project one down here, each one of these five place marks can just be drug down and placed right on top of the project one folder. Then they become part of that hierarchy. So I'm going to drag down each of those five. They can be ordered in whatever way you want, just depending on what you're looking to do. But now I have my project one file. To save that, to save it off of Google Earth so I can give it to somebody else, distribute it to other teachers, whatever I might need to do, right click on the folder that you created and come down where it says save place as. When you do that, it's going to open up new save file dialog box. And now at the bottom, you're going to see it says save as type, KMZ. KMZ stands for Keyhole Markup Language Zipped File. So in this case, I'm going to save this as a KMZ file. I'm going to call it Project 1 and click Save. Now, that I have just saved. If I go in and open, I'm going to see on my desktop here, I have a KMZ file. KMZ files are opened up by mapping programs. And you're going to see it looks like the Google Earth uh, symbol on that file. That KMZ file is now part of my computer, it's a file that I can open up later if I want to. And then to clear this out, if I want to use it for use Google Earth for a different project, I can right click on my project file and click delete. Say OK, and it's gone. So now I have a blank slate in which to create in Google Earth again, but I haven't lost that other file. So if I come back up here to File, Open, Navigate to my desktop where I save that, and here's that project1.kmz. Opening that up, there are my points again. And I can just go through each one of those points depending on what I'm interested in doing. 